G'day, thanks for clicking the link. In a moment, you're about to see a segment from a new show that I put out on Monday. So if you wanna see more content like this, please do consider subscribing, turn on notifications, otherwise, enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna start today's show by getting on my soapbox, and that can only mean one thing. Last week, we saw Earth Day celebrated the world over with lots of businesses potentially greenwashing, individuals doing a lot of the heavy lifting, and some leaders lying and promising to support mm, the fossil fuel buddies, increase emissions, and warm the planet a lot. Here's a high-level summary. On Wednesday last week, our government committed more than $1 billion in funding gas-based hydrogen carbon capture storage. Whilst one is welcome, carbon capture, mm, it's about $30 billion, $30 billion, $30 million are going to invest in this uh, and put it into the underground, into the sea and stuff like that. It is a proven technology, but on a dollar per dollar basis, it's actually better to invest it into solar, wind, hydro, things that actually don't cause any pollution in the first place. Yeah, definitely a great idea. There are many ways you can create hydrogen, but what he's proposing here is using gas. And we all know that gas is a very bad fossil fuel that not only produces fugitive emissions in its production, but also is very good at trapping heat in our planet, which has to be stopped as soon as it possibly can. If you want to know more about this subject, please do check out my video up here where I do a deeper dive into carbon capture and gas. And let me just say, it ain't good news, folks. Turning back to Scott Morrison, on Thursday, like just this last Thursday, Earth Day, he listened to multiple leaders speak about how they were going to be reducing their impact on the world of ours. The United States of America is aiming to produce, or reduce rather, 50 to 52 percent of its emissions by 2030. The UK, 78 percent. Japan, 46 percent, and Canada to 40 to 45 percent below 2005 levels by 2030. Importantly, China and South Korea have also added to the many voices around the world saying that they will either phase down coal consumption by 2030 or halt financing of any new coal power plants. Remember, remember this line, our PM said this, future generations will thank us not for what we have promised but what we will deliver. And on that score, Australia can always be relied upon to which he then detailed some numbers which were so crooked, misrepresented and overinflated that it makes us look bad. Expertly detailed in several articles by Keith and Joshi on their Renew Economy website, links are below. Here are some great little nuggets that I want you to take away and make sure you speak to friends and family about. On the already we've reduced our emissions by 90% of 2005 levels. The Department of Emissions projections from December 2020 report that it's actually only 16.6%. He also rattled off his favourite line, which I think he's memorised because if you watch his address, you'll note that he gets off topic or mixes things up a bit. So maybe his teleprompter was broken? But what he said on the world stage, plus last week at Monday's Business Council of Australia dinner, was that domestic emissions have already fallen by 36% from 2005 levels. Uh, no. Best case scenario, we're at 23.3%. And one more for today's show and getting back to where I started to say that Australia is beating the world and delivering on its targets is just a huge lie. It's embarrassing and he should be ashamed for lying to world leaders, lying to the Australian people, some of whom will believe his lies and not question them, and scrap his plans to support gas hydrogen. It's so infuriating. And look, in a moment, I'll get off my soapbox, but please, look, 
Do go and read these articles below by Kid and Joshi and inform your friends, family, work colleagues, anyone just how badly we are actually doing about reducing our impact on the environment, how we're failing on reducing our emissions and how our Prime Minister and our government is hell-bent on warming the planet of ours. Suicide.